Today we are opening the legendary Ruxin Special Edition. What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening video. In this video, we have the Ruxin Special Edition. This includes three Portuguese First Edition Metal Raiders packs, the one and only First Edition Pecanio Moth. You might even be familiar with this because this was sent to me in like a mail day, I think, like over a year ago. It's probably like maybe even two years ago. And now we are actually gonna open it up. I decided not to open it up at the time, but then I was like, look, this would be such a great video. And I decided not just to open this, but to open other products with my favorite cards inside. So some other products include Judgment of the Light, a deluxe edition. You might know why this is one of my favorite products because of the one and only Chicolate, Chica Chicolate. So hopefully we can pull some out of this deluxe edition here, which also is something you've probably maybe even never seen. I won't say probably because we've done a few videos on this and called it like the product you've never heard of. And a lot of you guys had not. So I'm sure some of you guys have not heard of a deluxe edition. They didn't make them for that long, only for like four or five sets in the Zexel era, but they're pretty cool. They got like nine packs. They're kind of like the uh, Pokemon Elite trainer boxes. And that's not all. We also have a regular regular Metal Raiders pack for the Petite Moth. Hopefully we can pull that. And then it wouldn't be all my favorite cards without a McDonald's pack, one pack. Can we pull that Millennium Shield? That would be a pretty crazy pull. We also have a few things like Maze of Memories to get that Gate Guardian, Ghost from the Past 2, get some of those Ghost Rares that I really love, and then a Ghost from the Past 1 to get that Dark Magician, which would be pretty awesome. But before we actually get into it, tonight we have our second Whatnot stream. The last one was really, really fun. It was awesome. You've been seeing that I've been promoting it for today, 5 p.m. Central. If you want to be there, all the cards that I'm giving away are not here yet, but I will definitely be giving away this Black Rose Dragon Ultimate Rare didn't arrive in time for the last one so it's here now so that will be given away for free to one of you guys who's watching there's also stuff like i think i'm going to be giving away this dark magician girl or is there another one i don't know and here's some of the stuff that might be up for sale we've got some uh, nishuria bark you know we got you know our uh, you know arch lord christia this one we had up for sale last time guy ended up canceling so it's available again we've got a uh, necro face german we've got some stuff like rampart blaster we've got some starlights you've seen some of these from the last one the ghost rare blackluster soldier we pulled the other day we've got some tournament pack stuff May or may not go up for sale. I think I may have pulled this card. I don't know. I haven't decided if we're going to put some of this stuff up, but got tournament pack cards. There's a lot of cards that I have coming in that I will be adding in for sure. And then some stuff with the ultimate. I have Tamias, uh, technically Ghost, but you know, the legendary. I have Tamias. EX Gamer, that's for you. I'll also be selling some old school packs. Maybe we'll even do a box break. Haven't completely decided what we're going to do because like this is like a week early. So I'm trying to like get together everything, but it's going to be really fun. Hope you guys show up there. Last time it went really well. It was really fun. I enjoyed it. And if you want to be there, 5 p.m. Central tonight. Let's get into my favorite cards opening now. Hey guys, Future Rucks in here. Uh, so we've gotten a lot closer to when the actual stream is. And since then, I have acquired these Retro Pack 2s that you saw like yesterday or the day before. And I've decided that we're going to be opening up some of these on the stream tonight. We're going to be attempting to pull that Blue Eyes Shining Dragon out of these. So if you guys want a chance to actually get some of these yourself and maybe actually get it pulled for you, make sure to check out the stream tonight at 5 p.m. Central. I'll see you guys there. Okay, let's start off with the Maze of Memories pack. Let's start off a little slow, you know. They don't have my number one favorite cards not like my top cards but it does have some nice stuff like the gate guardian inside let's see if we can pull something big we have the creepy little punk treacherous trap hole mech knight crusadia avermax not the collector rare but still a pretty card a couple of rares in there goes from the past two let's see what we can do notice that rhyme pretty crazy huh oh uh, yeah okay all right let's see if we can get something good we have the vision hero can we oh ghost rares are in the third slot on this one actually speaking of whatnot last time we pulled a ghost rare blue eyes for somebody that was pretty amazing out of ghost from the past two outburst dragon there's an ultra rare okay more uh foil you know foil cards goes from the past one time let's do this let's see if we can pull something next we're going to open up the deluxe edition and see if we can pull something here so no pack trick on ghost from the past one we have dragoonity hieratic dragon metaphors fusion oh that's a, almost a full rush i almost pulled all the cards mass change and Hell shit all hollow. I feel like that's every time I open those, I get hell shit all hollow. All right, JOTL, Judgment of the Light, Special Edition. Let me put this Pequeno Moth back up there. By the way, if you were the one who sent me this Moth uh, Special Edition, I can't remember who it was. Make sure to comment down in the comments. Make sure you like his comment or her. I don't remember if it was a she, a he. I don't remember who it was. I just remember that I was like, wow, this is like maybe the coolest fan mail of all time. And uh, now I can't remember who it was. So I want to give you some credit. Leave it, leave a comment down there, guys. I want I want to see who sent me this because it's really cool. I mean, it says Ruxin Special Edition on it. I mean, like they like put in the work to make it say Ruxin Special Edition. They put the Pequeno Moth, not the Petit Moth, the Pequeno Moth. Like they got the OG out of there. It was pretty sick. So I am excited to see if that person is still watching the channel. Okay, so we have, uh, okay, we got all these. We've got 
the Judgment Light Beginners Edition. Okay, we got some sleeves. So see, look, special edition, just like Pokemon, basically, or the uh, whatever they call those things. And then nine packs. These are unlimited, but hey, Chocolate does not discriminate. Doesn't need to be first in. I was actually looking like, okay, what sets do Medolce, Chocolate, and Petite Moth come out in? They really don't have a lot of prints. Same with Millennium Shield. There's not a lot of prints of those cards, probably because they knew they're too rare, they're too epic, they're too awesome. You can't just print them every, you know, every single set. People need these exclusive, cheap, cheap, cheap. We have Exceed Agent. Brother of the Firefish Caribou, Super Defense Robot. Oh, a Star Eater! I did the wrong back trick. That's a secret rare. All right, the OG print. I don't know. Do I have unlimited of these for my binder? I might need the unlimited secret rare. I'm not really sure. That's a nice pull. Started off with an unlimited secret rare Star Eater. This also comes in Ulti and Ghost. Yeah, pretty amazing. It took me a long time to pull that in Ghost. Let's open Amazing Memories. That's pretty cool. That's a great pull. We'll take that. Starter, not one of my favorite. I mean, I do really like it, but it's not like in my top, you know, top favorite cards that we're like searching for today, but still pretty nice. Gate Guardian, we got it. No collector rare though. We got the Gate Guardian Thunder and Wind, and we've got the Burial from a different dimension. Oh wait, another card? Angel of the Blue Tears. Okay, no big deal. Nothing too crazy there, but we have Jodel coming up next. Will my favorite cards be pulled? Maybe this should have been on my birthday is when we should have done this. To be honest, it would have made more sense, but hey, it's a week later, you know? Okay, Sargasso, Revenge Shuffle, we got Ice Princess, Xyz Agent, Shark Caesar, Bujan Fidel, Archfiend Harris, and a Fire King Avatar Yaksha. I remember this one hardcore from Duel Links. This was big in the Sacred Phoenix deck, you know, where you blow itself up and then, you know, destroy your background and everything. Ghost from the Past, Second Haunting. Come on, look, it's my favorite sets. Why can't we pull a Ghost Rare? Come on, Ghost from the Past too. You know you can do this. Let's give us a Cyber Dragon. That'd be cool. Contract, we have Didi Lamia, Tinny Spirit, Vampire Kingdom, and... Master Flare, Hyperion, Ultra Rare. All right, cool card, but not the one we're looking for. Judgment of the Light, it's your turn. We need a Chicolate. So far, we have not pulled one. You have not pulled any of my favorite cards yet, which out of that special edition, we got a guaranteed Picanio Moth, so we're looking good there. But can we pull another one? We have Super Defense Robot, Sonic Boom. You know how cool it would be if we could pull all of them? Yellow Dust and Bujingi Wolf. That would take the McDonald's pack one, being a crazy pack. Intercept Tomato, The Atmosphere, DZW Chimera Clad, and a Sargasso Lighthouse. Where is it? Where's the Chicolates? We're still searching. We're still looking. Ghost from the Past 1. Give us that Dark Magician. Ghost Rare. You gotta believe. We have a Madolce Pudding Cess. That's a good sign for the Madolce Chicolates. Time Thief Winder. Dragoonity Phalanx. Mass Change. And we have... Neshadal Genius. It's a genius, but it is not one of my favorite cards. Judgment of the Light. Come on, guys. We need some luck for that Chicolates. Here we go. One, two, three. I believe we have Bujingi Turtle. XC's Reception. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Kuja Kaja Koo. McVanabee's Cold Wing. Remember, that was two bucks. We got Intercept Tomato. Bujingi Wolf. Where are they? Trap Tricks A Tracks for the Trap Tricks deck. And. Black and white wave. There is no Chicolates inside, unfortunately. Chicolates, where are you? Summon it from the comments, everyone. Send me some luck from the comments for the Chicolates and the Petite Moth and the Pecan... Let's pretend like that didn't happen. Red Eye Soul, we have Gay Guardians combined. Cool Gay Guardian card, but unfortunately, I ruined that one a little bit. Jodel, come on, save us from the Ruxin special. I guess it wouldn't be like opening my favorite cards without doing a few rucks and specials, right? That's that's just the way it goes. Mega Phantom Beast, Holliard, Star Seraph Sage, Rogelia. We have a Super Defense Robot, Elephant, Umbral Horror, Fish Broarg Archer, Sargasso the DD Battlefield, Number 101 Masquerade, and an Ultra Rare Rank Up Magic Numeron Force, which is an Ultra Rare, but that wasn't a Chicolates. Not even in the pack. So we are five packs into the nine. We don't have a Chicolates. I'm getting worried that we're not going to pull any of my favorite cards. The whole premise of the video, guys. Come on. Ghost from the past two. Two from the back. We have a Ghost Trick Dullahan. Vampire Sucker. Dramaturge of Despia. Salaman Great Blaze Dragon. And... Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon. All right. Okay. All right. It's happening, guys. It's getting a little intense here. We haven't had any crazy. I mean, okay. We had a Star Eater, so we've done pretty good, actually. I mean, that's a crazy pull. But can we get all we really want is a Chicolates and the Petite Moth. What? Yes! The Chicolates! Chicka Chicolates! Right at the beginning. It's been so long since we've seen your face, Chicolates. I should have opened some more to Tachyon Galaxy for the uh, Hoot Cake. I don't have any laying around, though. That would have been one of my favorites because it has the Chicolates, but they're even cuter than the real Chicolates card. 
card. So it's pretty amazing. Star Seraph, Flying Sea, Star Seraph Sword, the Atmosphere, Xyz. Let's see if we can just get a Ghost right now. Number 102, just to add to the Chicolates lore. No, but we can get a number C39 Utopia Ray Victory, which is a really good super rare. I think it's like six bucks unlimited. It's like 10, you know, in first ed. So that's pretty strong. That's a great pull. Ghost from the past one. Here we go. First edition. Can we get that Ghost Rare Dark Magician? Here we go. First edition Dark Magician. Here we go. Resonator Engine. Come on. Give us something. Hieratic Seal of Conv Convocation. Okay. And another genius. Okay, genius is added again. I feel like genius used to be money. I don't know if it still is though. All right, we got three Jodel left. So maybe we'll mix them up with our, uh, our Metal Raiders, our, or, you know, in our McDonald's pack. We'll maybe throw that one in. Can we get that Ghost Shark? We finally, I think, did pull this, the Star Eater at some point, but it took a long time. Shark Caesar, we have Bouge Infidel, the Calibrator, Kujikajiku, confronting the seas, being confronted, and. Uh... Oh, we did it again! Star! Ghost Rare! No way! Unlimited Star Eater! And we pulled the Secret Rare! That is insane! No way! So this isn't like one of my top favorite cards, but it is a Ghost Rare, and I really like pretty much every Ghost Rare. I think Star Eater is a pretty nice one, so... Oh my goodness! Star Eater, Secret, and Ghost! That is absurd. If we get an Ultimate Rare too, we pull all three. That would be the craziest Deluxe Edition of all time. This has already been one of the craziest ones. Okay, so I was going through my binder for all the stuff. You guys know I'm collecting the Ghosts, the Ultimates, and the Secrets. I actually only had a Light Play Unlimited Ghost, and then I didn't even have the Unlimited Secret. I had a First Ed here. So these both are actually new additions. So I'm gonna be putting these in the binder, which is pretty cool. So I figured I'd show you guys Give you guys a quick update on that. That's pretty awesome, actually. I didn't know I was going to need even one of them, so needing both is pretty cool. All right, that's pretty wild. A Ghost Rare out of a Deluxe Edition. Nine packs. So that's one in 288 for a Ghost Rare, by the way. Okay, let's open this Metal Raiders pack now. Maybe that'll bless us with the Petite Moth. And then maybe a little bonus after that. You know, who knows? One, two, three, four. Let's go. Okay, Disc Magician. It'll be in the comments, so we need a good comment. Rabbit Horseman. Very cool. The Pumpkin, the King of Ghosts. Very, very classic card from the anime. Paralyzing Potion. We're already through four commons. We haven't pulled one yet. Jurai Gumo, the Spider-Man. Blackland Fire Dragon, also very cool. Prevent Rats. We have a Tongyo with the tongue. I, don't, I think that means no petite moth. But will we get a foil? We do get the Grande Moth, so no Petite Moth. But we got the Grande Moth. Very beautiful. That's awesome. Okay, very, very cool. I know you guys saw when we summoned the Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth recently. For some reason, that video was doing really well. I'm really confused, but hey, it was it, it's good, I guess. All right, time to go back to Jodel. This has turned into a really fun video. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, sit, uh, as always, if you guys have an idea of something you want me to do for an opening, a cool idea, put, let me know in the comments. Send me a message, something like that. Doesn't mean I'm going to do it, but it'll at least help me brainstorm because I'm always trying to find like different ways to make openings fun for you guys. So if you have a cool idea, let me know. Super Defense Robot Elephant. We have Moon Dance Ritual. Will we pull? I mean, now we want the Ultimate Rare Star Eater. I mean, that would be a crazy trio. Fencing Fire Ferret. Okay, nothing out of that one. We really can't ask for much more out of the Jodel. They've been insane. Okay, let's open this last Jodel. Then we'll do the... Maybe we'll do McDonald's Pack 1 and then we'll do the Ruxus Special Edition. Okay, final pack. I, I, if we get the Ultimate Rare Star Eater, this is going to be one of the craziest openings we've had. Trap Tricks, just because like the chances of getting all three in nine packs is nuts. Googly Eyes Drum Dragon. Intercept Tomato. Bujingi Wolf. Prize Princess. We got Xyz Agent. Archfiend Palabrinth. And a Sonic Boom. All right, very, very cool. Okay. This is, this is definitely the most expensive pack we're opening. I mean, it's not like crazy because there's only two cards in here and none of the cards are like that big. But yeah, this is still big. If we get a foil out of here, it's crazy. I don't know where it pops up. McDonald's pack one. Yeah, they just look like Pop-Tart packs. They have like that printed on them, but they don't say McDonald's pack one or anything. I once bought like 50 of these from Sassy Auto like four years ago. He, I think he, that was all he had or something. And I've kept a few of them. So here's one. We kept a couple. We opened a ton and pulled a ton of Millennium Shields. If, you're, if you haven't seen that video, go watch it. For some reason, it's one of my most viewed videos. I I guess because McDonald's pack relates to everybody. I don't know if this is okay. It's not going to spoil this way. McDonald's pack should not be opening this, but just for your viewing pleasure, it's got that on the back. So that's probably the shield. But if it is a shield, oh, frog, the jam has been pulled. I signed one of these the other day. It wasn't the other day. It was at an event. But uh, I was like, wow, this is a really cool card. It had also been signed by Jaden. So I completely ruined it. I think it was in the vlog. Okay. Is it a foil? That's like the best common you can get. And. Oh, Ushioni. Okay, do 
commons. We didn't get the Millennium Shield, but Frog the Jams are really good pull. Let's see how the back looks. Okay, it's definitely got some bend going on. Pretty normal with those because they are very small packs, easy to bend and stuff like that, but awesome pulls. I'll take that. And the moment we've all been waiting for, the Ruxin Special Edition. Okay, it's gonna hurt to break this open because this is custom, obviously. Like, this wasn't made by Konami. Konami, if you wanna make a Ruxin Special Edition, hit me up, I'm down. But uh, yeah, this was made by a viewer. Here we go. Let's open it up. All that hard work, pretty amazing. So let's get, I hope these are like legit uh, Portuguese Metal Raiders packs so we can actually pull the Petite Moth. So first of all, we have the one and only Picanio Moth. So one of the greatest cards of all time. I mean, it's just amazing. So there it is. That's an awesome pull. Now we are getting the other packs out. All three of the Ruxin Special Editions. Look at them. So cool. The Ruxin Special Edition. <laughs> I didn't notice this. Look at that. The Ruxin Special Edition. I never saw that. You couldn't see it at first. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. It's like opening up a two-year-old, like, you know, inside joke. That is amazing. That's so cool. I'm keeping that though. I'm keeping that board. That's too cool. Three packs. All right, let's see if they're legit, if they're opened or not. Uh, seems like they are not opened. Pequeno Moth. Let's see what it says. Anything about Pequeno Moth? No, nope, nothing about Pequeno Moth, unfortunately. Three packs to go, guys. Let's see if we can pull something crazy. Moth time, baby. Give it to us. Ryu Kishin Patencianzado Centauro Mystico Elusionista Semrosto Cyberzores. I know this is a Spanish accent. I know. I know all my Portuguese fans. I'm sorry. Libertar Almas. The Larve Moth, the cousin moth, has been pulled. So now we have all of them. We have the Grande, the Pequeno, and we have the Larve Moth, but we need to pull another Pequeno because we need to actually pull one. Bickery Bickery Box. And then a regular rare, which is Apprentice. Okay. Cool stuff. Portuguese, but still cool. Two packs to go for that moth. Come on. So we got the Larva and we pulled the Grande Moth out of the English pack. So this could be big. We've got Labyrinth, which has been, <laughs> it's now got a retrain now, which is hilarious. Let's see, can we get it? <sighs> we got the Feral Imp. We got the Launcher Spider. The Deep Sea Shark guy. The Dark, the Sea, Dark, just something. I don't know. We've got the Labyrinth Tank, Crawling Dragon. Come on, where's the Moth? The World of Thunder. No, we got Thunderball. And, oh, it's a Cannon Soldier. Soldado Canayo. And the final pack. Will we be able to pull the moth in the final pack? So far, we've got one Chicolate, so we pulled a ghost rare even. Can we get the moth to end it off in the final pack? Craziest last pack magic of all time could happen. Cyber, Cybersaurus, Golem, Destruidor, the Alpha Echo. If you've enjoyed this video so far, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. If you want to see more Petite Moth action, Here's the place. I mean, where else are you going to see it? Lampo de Mystico. Okay, that's a deep sea dweller guy. The ancient brain. Oh, no, no moth. Come on, give us a moth. No. Oh, it's a Sangan. No moth. But fortunately, Sangan's still pretty awesome. We'll take that. And don't worry. We had one as a promo. We have the Larva Moth. And then we have, of course... The Grande Moth, the ultimate trio. Pretty amazing video. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and then the Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.